Apparently they've reached a verdict. All rise. Jury entering. Welcome to the channel, by the way. All right, everyone may be seated. All right, members of the jury, welcome back. Uh, before we begin, let me just ask the same question I've asked uh, most days uh, since we started. Um, up to this point in time, has any uh, member of the jury been exposed to any media, uh, either by video, print, publication, blog, or any other type of uh, news source? All right, let the record reflect that all jurors indicated uh, nodding their heads no uh, to the question. All right, so... As I indicated yesterday, we've completed the evidence in the case. Uh, you've now heard the closing arguments and also my instructions on the law. You're going to be shortly retiring to the jury room to decide this case. Before you do so, however, I have a few last-minute instructions to read to you, so please listen carefully. In just a few minutes, you will be taken to the jury room by the court deputy. The first thing you should do is choose a four-person who will preside over your deliberations. The four persons should see to it that your discussions are carried on in an organized way and that everyone has a fair chance to be heard. It is also the four persons' job to sign and date the verdict form when all of you have agreed on a verdict and to bring the verdict form back to the courtroom when you return. During deliberations, jurors must communicate about the case only with one another and only when all jurors are present in the jury room. If a juror goes to the restroom, for example, the deliberation should stop until the juror returns. You're not to communicate with any person outside the jury about this case. Until you've received a verdict, you must not talk, until, excuse me, until you've reached a verdict, you must not talk about this case in person or through the telephone, writing, or electronic communication such as blog, Twitter, email, text, message, or any other means of electronic or other communication. So do not contact anyone to assist you during your deliberations. These communication rules apply until I discharge you at the end of the case. If you do become aware of any violation of these instructions or any other instruction I've given you during the course of this trial, you must tell me by giving a note to my courtroom deputy. Many of you may have cell phones, tablets, laptops, or other electronic devices here in the courtroom with you. As I indicated at the beginning, the rules do not allow you to bring your phones or any of those types of devices into the jury room with you during deliberation, so I will ask that you leave those devices with my courtroom deputy while you're deliberating. He will safeguard them and return them to your possession after the um, verdict is rendered. You. If you do need to communicate with me during your deliberations, please send a note to the courtroom deputy. Uh, if you voted, however, at that time, do not disclose the vote um, in the note. If you have a question, uh, the procedure will be that I will talk with the attorneys before I answer. So it may take some time between the point where you submit the question and when I'm able to get back with you. During this time, please um, continue your deliberations while you wait for my answer. And I should let you know I will answer any questions, if I can, in writing or orally here in open court. Um, your questions are uh, subject to the same rules of evidence that the attorney's questions are, so if there's a reason that I can't answer, I typically won't tell you the reason. I'll just say that we're unable to answer the question. Uh, but, however, if I can't answer it, I will. During the trial, items were received in evidence as exhibits. You may examine whatever exhibits you think will help you in your deliberations. There was a number of videos, obviously, that were presented as evidence by both sides in this case. Uh, there will be a laptop provided in the um, jury room for you to play those videos should you wish. Uh, it's only to be used for that purpose. And if you need assistance uh, in terms of operating and, and queuing up the video, I can um, have someone from IT assist you in how to do that. 
Um, the paper exhibits that were received into evidence will also be sent into the jury room with you when you begin to deliberate, along with the uh, thumb drives and the other evidence it's submitted. Um, if you wish to see any or rehear any testimony that was received, uh, you'll, that will need to be done out here because we'll replay the, um, the audio of the testimony if you wish to hear the, the testimony. Um, my point being, we can't do that while you're in the jury room. We'll have to bring you back out here to hear any testimony. In closing, let me remind you that it's important that you follow the law spelled out in these instructions in deciding your verdict. There are no other laws that apply to this case, and even if you do not like the laws that must be applied, you must use them. For more than two centuries, we've lived by the Constitution and the law, and as I said before, no juror has the right to violate these rules that we all share. Let me have counsel approach, please. There is one video um, that was played in evidence um, on mute. So I won't be able to send that video back with you, but if you need to see that video again, that's something that will have to be played out here so it can be played on mute. Uh, I just wanted to clarify that for you. All right, so the process when we select jurors is um, in a case of this um, nature, uh, a, the jury that ultimately decides the case is six jurors. But we always pick alternates um, during the process um, so that if something happens to any of the jurors that are selected, uh, we have enough people to um, complete the process. As I indicated at the beginning, uh, we have to finish uh, once we start the proceedings. So we had three alternates in this case that were selected, and because of the order, um, at this time, um, Ms. Tuggle, Ms. Dieteronto, and Ms. Degler, um, it's my duty to go ahead and excuse you from further service in this matter uh, because be the order in which the selection occurred, you were, uh, folks were selected as the alternates. So what that means for you is that you won't be able to go into the jury room for deliberations. However, you will be free to remain in the courtroom if you wish to hear what the ultimate verdict is, and uh, you're also going to be free to leave if you wish. Um, once, you leave, once you're discharged and you leave the jury box, I also should tell you that you're uh, relieved of the gag order that I've imposed upon you uh, during the course of these proceedings, being at this point, once you're relieved, you can speak with anybody you want to speak with. However, it's your privilege not to speak with anybody if that is also your decision. And the only thing I would tell you when you're making that decision is please keep in mind that some people may ask to speak with you just out of curiosity or others may be looking to find fault with what you've done. So just keep that in mind. The bottom line is ultimately up to you uh, in making the decision. Uh, before I let you go, I do want to thank you very much uh, for your uh, time and service in this matter. This was a lengthy trial, um, and I apologize in advance for... Um, you know, blowing the uh, estimated time of completion, but it does happen sometimes. But in any event, I uh, hope it was a, a productive experience for you. And even though you won't participate in the deliberations, you've uh, done everything that any juror could possibly do in a jury trial except the final act. So, uh, Look, he's sweating bullets. I, I used to joke with my jurors and say, I will see you in six months, but it normally takes a year or two um, before um, uh, I see my jurors back. So with that, thank you very much for your service. And uh, Mark will take care of... Uh, uh, do you have, if you have anything in the jury room, uh, he'll, he'll take you back to get it, and then at that point I'll bring the, uh, the rest of the jurors into the jury room. So, Mark, why don't you take care of that, and then we'll have the rest of the folks. And then my deputy will be giving you a letter and a certificate, a letter signed by me and a certificate from the uh, Palm Beach County Bar. I bet they're disappointed, those three alternates. They didn't get to go back there. Everyone may be seated. And he is. He's taking back. Okay, so before, <laughs> he looks uh, concerned. Let go into the jury room. But Mark, I uh, would like you to go ahead and take their lunch orders uh, so that that's ready to go. I uh, need to let you know that um, if your deliberations run through lunch hour, you will be. Yeah. Man, he should. I bet he's thinking, damn, 
I probably should have took the deal. My my, my life's right, in the hands. We escort the jurors into the jury room, and uh, he'll take jury. your lunch orders um, for the lunch. But what I wanted to let you know is you won't be permitted to leave for lunch while you're in deliberations. Other than that, uh, the jurors may retire to the jury room for deliberations. All right, court is in recess. He looks nervous. Or maybe suited. All right, I'm advised that the jury has apparently had a piece of evidence reviewed that was not in evidence. I don't know how that happens, but um, it apparently was the arrest of the defendant. So let me hear from, I'm, I'm excuse me, of the victim. So what, how did this happen? There's been no publishing of an exhibit where he was arrested. The okay. victim? What happened was we had a video of where he was originally <sighs> in school. We went sidebar. The court said uh, we could play a trimmed version of it that just shows what he looked like at the time. Dirty defense tactics put that shit in there. Come on, people. On that date. That's right. And we trimmed it. <laughs> However, Inadvertently, when it, the version that jump drive went to into evidence, the longer version wasn't deleted out. So there was two files on there instead of just the one that says trimmed. So how does that happen, Mr. Waheed? Isn't that on the defense? That was your exhibit. Damn. You were required and responsible for making sure that what was admitted in evidence and what was um, published was to be on that thumb drive. And now I'm hearing that they have seen something that was not admitted into evidence. That is all correct, and it is our responsibility. I'll take responsibility for that. That was the day. That was the first day. It was a very, very busy day as we moved through the day. It was completely inadvertent. Um, I think I did the crosses oh, for everybody that God. day. So I didn't really wow. look at that evidence at the end of the day. Are we buying that story, people? We were trying to get it to Madam Clerk. So that was a mistake. All right. Ms. Um, Coakley, what's the state's uh, – I, I mean, I'm – Well, I'm, to, to say that I'm displeased with this development would Damn. be a massive understatement. Oh, my God. Uh, this trial is, uh, we're in the ninth day. I rely on the... Uh, His mic is really loud, so I apologize. ...attorneys to make sure that the evidence they submit, um, and based on my rulings, properly reflects what my rulings are and that the jury sees only what has been admitted into evidence. Um, let me hear your position, Mr. Wahid, on the state's request for a limiting instruction. I assume it's going to be something to the effect that, um, well, one, the, the exhibit's got to be corrected. Um, the, the, the proper file has to be put on the thumb drive. Secondly, um, it would be a, an instruction that to the extent that they have seen documents um, or videos that were not uh, received properly into evidence, they're to disregard that. Uh, and also, your concern is about the nomenclature of the file name, right? Okay. Your response, Mr. Wahid. Just, just to be clear, the right evidence is on the thumb drive. It's just that the untrimmed version was still left on it. So I just wanted well, to... Well, how can you say that? If you say the right evidence is on the thumb drive, and now I'm dealing with a situation where the Come jury's on. reviewed yeah. something that they were not supposed to have reviewed, which was not in evidence, th th those two um, things don't mesh with me. I mean, either the pared-down video is on it or an improper video that includes something more is on, right? They're both on. <laughs> That's my point. That's all I'm trying to just say. So I agree with the state. 
That, the... I had good evidence on there, but the other evidence wasn't admissible evidence, but it was all on the same one. What the hell? Longer version needs to be deleted. I also agree with the state that uh, my recollection is the court's ruling was to play it without audio. So it would be something that doesn't go back to the jury that they would have to play out here without audio, just like one of the state exhibits. I also agree on a limiting instruction. Okay. All right. So, Mark, um, I want you to retrieve the thumb drive that they were reviewing. It has it. Oh, you already have it? Oh, my God, she don't have a mic. Well, I thought that I heard Mr. Waheed not object to my limiting instruction where I would advise the jury that the victim was not arrested. He was just simply detained as part of the normal practice in dealing with runaways. That's correct. All right. You can go ahead and bring them out. Give me a moment, Judge. We're just going to fix this. Oh, okay. my God. Well, um, that doesn't need to wait. I, uh, you, you can do that uh, and not take up the time of the jury on that. Yeah. And we are waiting for the um, queuing up of the replay of uh, Fiona Ferreter's um, testimony. Okay. You well, may bring them out. This defense has been <sighs> quite astonishing, to say the least. I wish she'd have a mic. Well, I presume that when the evidence is going back in the state and the defense are looking at what, that that's all being done. Are you telling me that you haven't? Okay. Oh, my God. That's just ridiculous. I don't know. The defense has been on my last nerves almost this whole case. <laughs> all right, everyone may be seated. All right. Uh, Members of the jury, first order of business is that uh, I did receive your request for the um, replay of the um, testimony of Fiona Ferreira. That has been queued up. It takes a while for our recording to get it, it queued up for proper replay to you. And so that's in the process. Um, I don't expect it to be too much longer before that will be queued up. Um, the other thing is I'm advised that there was a video that was sent back to the um, jury room that was on one of the thumb drives that um, apparently was uh, erroneously included on the thumb drive and should not have been something that the uh, jury uh, would have been permitted to view. So um, with respect to that particular um, video, I'm going to instruct you to, you are to disregard it uh, and not consider it at all in your deliberations. I'm also advised that the very file name of that particular file was erroneous and to advise you it was erroneous in indicating an arrest. Uh, you need to know, and the parties have stipulated to the court uh, or agreed that the court could provide this information, that the uh, child victim was never arrested uh, in this matter, uh, that um, what you saw was merely a detention as part of the normal process for dealing with runaways. So, uh, again, to the extent that um, reviewing the file name and seeing arrest uh, was reviewed by you, you are also to disregard that. Um, in an abundance of caution, I'm going to have all the videos brought on the thumb drives brought back out here. Have counsel review them one last time to make sure there's nothing oh on God. these videos that shouldn't be properly uh, reviewed by you at this point so that we don't have this um, problem again. Um, while we're getting the, um, the testimony of Fiona Ferreira queued up, uh, you can continue your deliberations. Uh, before I let the jury go, is there anything that either the state or the defense wishes me to instruct the jury on at this point? Okay. All right, so that concludes my instruction on this. Um, when you get back there, Mark, just collect all the videos so we can bring them back out. As soon as uh, I'm comfortable that everything is on those videos that you are permitted to see, we'll send them back uh, to you, and then you can continue your review. Thank you, and you may return to the jury room. Wow. What a fiasco. Maybe see, I'm going to remain on the bench so we get these videos back, and I'm going to personally monitor that uh, each uh, oh, thumb snap. drive is being reviewed, oh, and that both sides are in agreement that what goes back uh, is proper for the jury to review. And again, I note that this should have been done before it ever had gone back. Um,
but let's uh, make sure we don't have this uh, situation arise again. Does anybody think it was sneaky tactics? I don't know. It was conveniently labeled arrest, and it wasn't an arrest. It was just a detainment of a kid. I don't know, man. I don't know. Jury's back. I believe they have a verdict. All right, everyone may be seated. All right, members of the jury, has the jury selected a four-person? And that's you, Mr. Bushy? All right, Mr. Bushy, has the uh, jury reached a verdict in this matter? No, you, uh, you can just, uh, just tell me yes or no as the jury reached a verdict. All right, if you could please hand the verdict to my um, courtroom deputy. Judicial Circuit, Criminal Division, in and for Palm Beach County, Florida, case number 22-CF-001136, CMB Division B, State of Florida versus Timothy Dunn Ferreter, defendant. Verdict. We, the jury, find as follows. As to count one, we find the defendant guilty of aggravated child abuse as charged in the information. As to count two, we find the defendant Guilty of false imprisonment as charged in the information. As to count three, we find the defendant guilty of neglect of a child as charged in the information. Oh my God. Look so at the we wife. say all this 12th day of October 2023 in West Palm Beach, Florida, signed by the jury for a person. All right, does either side wish to have the jury polled? All right, so ladies and gentlemen, there's been a request to have the jury polled, and that simply means that each of you will be asked the question of whether the verdict is your verdict or not. If it is, you should only answer yes. If it is not, of course, you should answer no and nothing further. So, Madam Clerk, at this time, if you could please poll the jury. Juror one, were the verdicts as read your verdict? Juror two, were the verdicts oh, as read your verdict? Yes. Juror three, were the verdicts as read your verdict? Juror four, were the verdict as read your verdicts? Juror five, were the verdict as read your verdicts? Juror six, were the verdict as read your verdicts? All right, ladies and gentlemen uh, of the jury, at this time, this concludes your uh, service uh, to your community in this matter. I want to thank you uh, for the time and commitment that you've made to this case. It went a lot longer than uh, I'd originally estimated. Um, but in any event, um, I watched all of you during the course of the trial. You did exactly what I had requested. You stayed focused and tuned into the evidence during all uh, phases of the case. Um, and I hope everyone has a much better appreciation of the, um, the great responsibility that comes with serving as a juror um, in our community. So with that, I do want to thank you. My bailiff will give you a letter of thanks from me. Also a um, certificate of appreciation from the Palm Beach County Bar Association and a short little survey that I'll just ask that you return it um, when you get some time. Uh, other than that, I do wish the best to all of you, and with that, you're excused, and Mark, you may escort the jurors out. Holy smokes. Guilty. All three charges. I wonder if that guy's her brother. Kind of. All right, everyone may be seated. All right, uh... Ms. Coakley, anything that I need to address as far as, far as adjudication in accordance with the verdict? He doesn't have a prior adjudication, but it is uh, aggravated child abuse is a first degree felony, so we'd re uh, request adjudication at this time. We'd also ask that he be remanded into custody at this time. Oh, okay. shit. Sentencing. Ms. Brown? Boom. Your Honor, I would request that the court, as to him being remanded, um, he has been out of custody for two years without any issues or any violations of bond. If the court is inclined to remand him, my request is that the court um, put him on a monitor. He does have a place that he can live in Palm Beach County. He has no criminal record whatsoever, and he has no custody of any of the children. 
Okay. Oh. All right, so the court, I'm going to adjudicate oh, the defendant crap. in accordance with the um, uh, verdict, guilty of the charge of aggravated child abuse, guilty of the charge of false imprisonment, and guilty of neglect. At this time, I'm going to remand the defendant to the custody of the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Department. That's without prejudice for you to file oh. any type of motion that you deem appropriate, Ms. Murad, oh. for pretrial release or, or, or release during um, pending appeal. Um, oh. This ruling today is without prejudice for me to receive that and consider that at the appropriate time. Um, let me get an idea as to what the state is looking for in terms of a sentencing hearing. I can do it as soon as the defense can be ready. He is entitled to a PSI. I don't know what, what the defense's position is as to that. I will waive PSI, Your Honor. This is a sentencing that I should be able to get done relatively quickly. Um, should the court have time in two or three weeks? I'll make whatever time that Holy um, smoke. I have to to, Lock to, up now. to expedite sentencing if that's what both sides request. Good Lord. Fine, Your Honor. Well, um, I won't need more than um, 20 or 30 minutes for my presentation. All right, so, Ms. Murad, um, I need an hour to hour and a half. So, I'm going to set aside two hours for sentencing. And, uh, Kenthia, let's pick a date um, on an afternoon uh, for two hour setting. Um, no more than. No, no earlier than three weeks out. That should be enough time for you to do what you have to do, Ms. Murad. But no more than five weeks. So in that two-week period there, let's uh, pick a two-hour setting. All right, does that date work for everybody, November 16th for sentencing? Yes. For the state? One second. Yes, uh, you said Thursday or Monday? Thursday, November 16th. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at October. So sorry. Oh, my God. He said lock him up now. Yeah, that is fine with the state. Oh. All right, so the sentencing of this matter is set for Thursday, November 16th at, uh, what was the time, 2.30? one thirty. Two hours reserved. All right, anything else that the court needs to address before we adjourn? No, Your Honor, we are going to need to do a status. I know Ms. Marshall is in here. We're going to need to do a status check because I don't think we have a future date on Ms. Ferreter. That's not my um, mic. The same day as the sentencing. That'd be fine uh, if you're good with that. I might, I might reach out to Ms. Marshall about having something next, um, having it next week, so we can get. Um, Whenever you want to come in, will be fine with okay. me. Um, the morning, morning docket, as you know, is generally pretty heavy, so one more, one more hearing is not going to make a huge difference. Okay, all right. So um, then that t concludes the court's business today. I do want to thank both sides for for a professionally presented case. We had a couple hiccups here and there, but over the course of an eight-day trial. Uh, that's to be expected, but um, thanks to both sides for the um, commendable job that each of you did. All right, thank you. Remanded zero bond, but that's without prejudice uh, for uh, a subsequent motion to be filed. And if you have the orders on adjudication, I'll go ahead and sign those now. Holy shit. Zero All bond. Right, so I'll remain here to sign the, uh, the judgment and the adjudication. That, that'll be fine. So I'll remain on the bench because I have a long walk back to my courtroom, so it's better I just stay here. You can't. Thank you. She's thinking, oh, shit, I'm next. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's going to be the same. Damn close to it. He had the worst defense. I'm not saying the worst defense team, but they were he was bad, but they didn't have nothing. No substance to bite on other than blame it on the kid. And the closing arguments, the prosecution was on fire. And the the I thought the, the defense's closing statements was just one big dumpster fire. It was horrible. It was terrible. Now, I had finished that other video, and I got noticed that it was the verdict was out, but I just watched it just now for the first time, but I did get to the, I did the beginning, and then in the middle, they had two, um, they wanted to hear testimony from the ring camera, or no, I think it was a deposition, from his children, <coughs> so they played that, but I didn't play that. So this was real time me seeing seeing this verdict. Holy shit. Plus
plus it took me a minute to find it in this six minute six hour video i'm sitting there trying like where the hell is it trying not to read the chat of course they said he was guilty but i was like damn it i want to see it i want to see the look on his face He's thinking to himself, shit, I should have took the deal. I should have took the deal. I think he, what, would have served a year or so or five years probation or something like that? I don't know. But he can appeal this, but hell, on what? Oh, and that thing that came in earlier where the, the jury got some evidence they weren't supposed to see. And it was from the defense's side. I was like, are you shitting me? Because at first I thought, oh my God, what is it? Because it could cause a mistrial, right? If, if there was some kind of damning shit in there. I don't know. I don't know how this could be grounds for a uh, an appeal that they've got a, uh, a thing with that said... Uh, the boy was arrested. I mean, how would that be prejudicial to to the defense? I don't know. It seemed like it would help the defense, right? Well, yeah, this is another ch link in the chain of them throwing everything in the kitchen sink about the kid being bad. And here you got a thumb drive on it with some shit they ain't supposed to be looking at. I don't know, man. I just kind of thought it, I mean, it could have been an accident. It could have been, but these people are professionals. I don't know. We all make mistakes, but damn. Well, there you have it. He is guilty on all three charges. It was, uh, I think the most compelling thing for me, exciting parts of the trial was the cross-examination of Dr. Myers by the defense guy. And I don't know his name, by the way. I forgot what he, I should have wrote his name down. It was quite entertaining. Um, the prosecution's closing statements was riveting. And just now the look on his face and then the wife's face. But it looked like her tears dried up pretty good. I don't know. She didn't look that tore up and shaken to me, th knowing that she's next, right? She, she should have been just shaking and just like, oh, my God, you know, she's going to jail probably. But looking forward to covering that trial for sure. Or there you have it. Guilty as charged on all three counts. Guys, thank you for joining me. Or is he gonna? Are they gonna walk him out? Right, Ms. Coakley, I have the proposed judgment up here. This is uh, the only document I need to sign huh. today, correct? I don't know. Oh, they're gonna show her again. Let's see. Uh, this... All right, that concludes the court's work today. Court is in recess. There it is. They gonna walk him out? What are they waiting for? Damn. I don't know if he's just narcissistic and cocky thinking he could beat this. Good Lord, you locked this kid in a room with ring cam. Are you stupid? Yeah, he was stupid for locking the kid up. Don't misunderstand. I'm just being silly, but he should have took the deal. His his attorney should have said, "There, you are going to be found guilty of this." They should have known and told him, "Don't do this. Take this deal." Yeah, you'll be known as a uh, a child abuser forever. But damn, move on. Now he's going to jail for God knows how long, and it's going to be a minute before the sentencing. What are they doing here? Let's see. All right, well, there she is. She's saying, I love you. I'm there for you. He's saying, peace out, baby. I don't know. 
Now, everybody takes things differently, but she don't look like she's pretty all that, uh, look at him. He's like, oh, shit. I wonder if he knows the camera's still on him. Let's see, are they going to walk him out? Kind of skipping through. No, nope. we ain't going to see him escorting him out. Well, there you have it. He is found guilty. Thank you for joining me. Guys, have a wonderful day. Thanks for taking this ride with me. It was fun. I mean, I enjoy a good trial. I mean, I'm sorry for the boy, of, of course. But we all know Depp and Heard was, was exciting stuff. There was moments. And um, I always like it when there's a good either prosecution or a defense that just gets up and lays out a great case and just well-spoken and all that good stuff. It's, it's, it's just a lot of fun for all you crime freaks out there. I, I am too, to some extent, but thank you so much. Have a great day and peace out.